To add an extra layer of security to your Zoom meetings, you can add a password. And for our youngest learners, it can be as simple as something as fat, space, cat. It's useful to have your participants muted before they enter and always, always set a waiting room for your students. This is no different than greeting your students at the classroom door. If you found a student you didn't recognize trying to come in, you would stop them, ask them who they are, and send them to the office if you needed to. And of course, everybody has a signing log for all guests to the building. You would probably find it useful to go to the settings option on zoom.us so that you don't have to repeat things over and over again. The first setting section is for scheduled meetings. You can make sure that you turn on so that the little button is blue, that a password is required when scheduling new meetings, that a password is required for instant meetings, and require a password for personal meeting ID. All meetings use PMI. By default, I had seen turned on embed password in meeting link for one click join. That can be useful for our youngest learners. You may end up choosing to turn this off for older students, perhaps in the fifth or sixth grade and up, so that they can't send the link with an embedded password to a friend. So what this means is with send the embedded link on, and you'll notice I have red boxes to protect my private information, I've required a meeting password of fat space cat. It's a very long link. The first red box has my meeting ID under it. The second red box following the letters PWD is a what they call hashed password. It's computer scrambled to protect the word fat cat from being visible. You would still only want to share this link privately, whether it's an email to parents or students within Google Classroom or within a private Seesaw Classroom. Other options might be Class Dojo or Edmodo, but no matter where you share this link, it should be private. If you look at the red box, under Settings, I can, for the scheduled meetings, make the same password every single time by clicking that pencil and I typed in fat space cat. But again, for the older children, you might turn off embed the password so that they have to hand type it. And when you look at my meeting settings, you'll see that the join URL is much shorter. It's just the zoom us slash j slash my meeting number, but it's still requiring fat cat to get in. When the student starts the meeting, it will ask them for the password, Fat Cat. They'll type it in and click the Join button. And if you have a meeting room, they'll be placed on hold until you admit them.